Good Wednesday morning to you. I'm meteorologist Matt Jones. A bit of a warmer start to our day across the Arquitex. In fact, a lot of you waking up to temperatures in the 70s this morning. So a little bit warmer. There's a little bit more humidity out there. And that increase in the humidity levels will actually increase our storm chances over the next several days. So starting to look a little bit more active here as we head towards the end of the week. One round of potential storms could be on the way Thursday night into Friday. And another round likely later this weekend into early next week. And in fact, there could be a round of storms as early as today across parts of the Arklatex. So certainly looking a lot more active than it was looking like it would be a couple of days ago. So here's a look at future track. We'll take you through the morning hours and not a whole lot going on, although we could see some morning activity off to the north and west. You can see here by noon, this particular forecast model is suggesting that we could see some more storms firing up there in northeast Texas and southeastern Oklahoma. So if you're long and north of I-30, there's the potential that we could see some storm activity throughout the day today. And as we get towards mid-afternoon, the potential that some of these could make their way as far south as the Louisiana state line. So if you're along and north of I-20, there is going to be at least the potential for a few storms as we head through the day today, but the chance is still pretty low. And if you're south of I-20, pretty much looking at a dry forecast. And then any storms that do develop today should fizzle as we head into the evening hours. And then later on tonight, after midnight, there's a the potential that we could see another round of storms firing off to the north and west, basically along and north of I-30. Looking ahead to our Thursday, uh, could see yet another round of storms developing off to the north and west and pushing in, and that could be moving into our area by Thursday night into Friday. So certainly there will be several opportunities for some rain, but still the bigger weather maker that we were talking about yesterday is still on track. Looks like the timing has shifted a little bit later though. So more like late weekend and into the early portions of next week, that's when this front is going to push through the area. But it definitely looks like some more widespread rain chances with this. In fact, the chance of rain looks pretty good across parts of the Arklatex and along with that, a slight cooling trend behind that front. So here's our rain chances. Notice here, we have bumped up those chances. Pretty much every day, there's at least the risk of getting some sort of rain. Today, tomorrow, the risk is only about 20%, at least in the shreveport Bossier areas. That'll be higher off to the north, though. For Friday, that jumps to about a 30% chance of rain. It goes down a little bit on Saturday, but then going up even more Sunday and Monday, looking like at least a scattered chance of storms across the area. When you look at our rainfall potential over the next seven days, certainly some pretty decent amounts expected for the northwestern portions of the Arklatex. So if you're along and north of I-30, there is definitely the potential that we could see over three inches of rain over the next seven days. And then that inch mark, uh, at least an inch of rain, is likely across the rest of the Arklatex. So certainly that has come up since what we were showing you yesterday. Our forecast, though, for today in Shreveport and Bossier, looking for the most part dry. But again, I mentioned there's the potential we might be adjusting this forecast a bit. It just depends on if we can see some storms developing. But for now, going to go with a mainly dry forecast here. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 90s. 90 93 Shreveport, 94 Cachada, Natchitoches, 96 Marshall, Texas, 92. But look how much cooler it's going to be farther north where we have that chance of storms. Hope Arkansas only 82 for today. And Dequeen and Idabel looking at temperatures into the mid 80s. The humidity levels, they will be on the increase as we head into the weekend. It's going to feel kind of oppressive by Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Here's that seven day forecast. So again, slight storm chances for the next couple days. It stays warm and increasingly humid. And then we have one round of storms possible Thursday night into Friday. A bit of a break Saturday and then maybe a more widespread round of rain Sunday into Monday and some cooler air could be arriving early next week.